Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. Now let's go ahead and jump right in. Remember that this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody or somebody here towards you. So if you feel the need to reverse the roles, then go ahead and do so. The cards just want to fly, okay? So yeah, if you feel the need to reverse the roles, then you can do so. Also, this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant in your chart, please make sure to check those out as well. And I'm also going to check your dominant energy, what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you, your challenge position, how to overcome that challenge, and much, much more. All right, uh, let's see. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll and you have here the number six believe and succeed so there's something here that perhaps you might be losing hope you might be kind of not believing anymore so this is telling you keep believing keep believing keep having faith it's all about having faith okay and you will succeed and the number six basically means that this is going to lead to some kind of harmony. If you've been dealing with a lot of conflicting energies, maybe there's a lot going on in your mind, in your life, it's all going to start to harmonize, okay, between now and the end of the month, okay? So as, as you can see here, there's a boat in the middle of the ocean, okay? It's like, it's kind of like the tip of the boat, okay, here in this image. But if you can see, he's coming from the darkness into the light. Okay, so it's almost as if this person was stuck in a small boat. This is not even a ship. This is like a little fishing boat. Okay, and it's almost as if this person had been stuck in the middle of the ocean for quite some time. And he had been wondering, when am I going to see land? When am I going to see land? Right. Am I ever going to reach land? And so he almost gave up on himself. And so what this is saying is the more that you believe you will succeed. See that light here? It's shedding that light. So he's reaching land. So you're going to see a sign, signal, a synchronicity that is telling you, hey, don't give up. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. You're almost there. You're almost going to reach land. If you keep believing, you will succeed. Okay. Let's put this on the side and let's go ahead and see what other energies are coming in here for you in the hangman reverse. So there's some kind of an energy where you're getting ready to make a sacrifice. Maybe you've already been thinking a long time. You've you kind of spent time in contemplation and now you're like, okay, if I want to see a change in my life, then I've got to make changes in order to see that change. Because what is the definition of insanity? I'm sure you, all, you guys all know. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. You can't get that right unless you switch gears, unless you do something different. So this is saying there's something in your life, whether career related, family related, whatever you're going through right now, okay, where if you want to see a positive change in that area of your life, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. Sometimes I'll give you an example. If you want to buy a house, right? Sometimes you have to save money in order to buy that house. That's a sacrifice. You can't be spending your money like you used to because you have this other goal, right? So that's just a, a brief example. If you want love in your life, you can't always keep your schedule fully booked and fully busy because when are you going to have time for love, right? Sometimes you have to make those little sacrifices in order to get something different. So that's what this is talking about. Now at the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so what the Knight of Pentacles is saying is, I feel like you're being very strategic. You're being very strategic. You're being very methodical with the process, okay? You want to make sure that you get what you want, but you also want to make sure that it, you know, it, it, it develops in time that is comfortable enough for you, okay? Now I do sense that there is some kind of an energy coming in also, it's slow in coming. It's this energy here of if you keep believing, you will succeed. It's not going to be quick in coming, this solution or this success, but it is going to come, okay? So right now there's a situation in your life that is developing. It's happening. It's coming towards you. It will succeed, but you have to keep believing and having faith in this, okay? Now, in your challenge position with the Knight of Wands, what this is saying is basically, you know, it's going to be a little bit challenging for you to really put yourself out there, really kind of make those changes. Because I feel like you, there's a part of you where you like routine. You like to know, okay, what is going to happen the next day. I mean, don't we all, I mean, we're all, we're, we're all human beings. So there's that energy here where you might, you know, kind of want, 
some kind of consistency, but this is requiring you for you to step outside of your comfort zone. So it's going to be a little bit challenging for you to step outside of your comfort zone, but I feel like you can do it. What the Knight of Pentacles is saying is basically there's some kind of a situation, okay, where you want to see success. You want to see money coming in. You want to be successful. You want to be around luxurious things. Maybe you want to take a trip. Maybe you want to spend m more money, that sort of thing, okay? So you want to see success. I do sense that you want to start kind of like feeling like you've got it all. Maybe you want your business to boom and bloom, okay? There's this energy here where you want to be independent. Maybe some of you guys want to stop working for somebody and you want to start your own business, your own thing, that sort of thing, okay? What the Ten of Cups is saying here is at the root of the issue is that there is some kind of kind of blockage in an environment here of your heart, of a situation here pertaining to perhaps it's a connection, whether this is family related, love related, but it has to do with your heart, okay? Something here that is challenging you, I feel like the root of the issue is the fact that you feel like there is some kind of um, shaky ground in a connection, okay? Or somebody here that you feel a connection with, or something here that you know, you're connected to on an emotional level. With the Four of Pentacles in the recent past, I do see that you closed off. You closed off your heart. You closed off your energy. Maybe you stopped communicating. You weren't giving as much to a person, to a situation, or just in general, okay? Whatever this is pertaining to, I feel like you kind of, you know, maybe you were even fi uh, financially just kind of saving your money and you didn't want to spend it as well. Coming towards you is a decision. I feel like you're going to be dealing with some kind of a major, you know, turning point here, and it's going to require for you to make some kind of a decision. I feel also that you're going to be having to deal with a lot, okay? You're going to have to take care of a lot of things at once, so find balance. There's some kind of energy here that's telling you find balance in the situation because you don't want to lead, you don't want this to lead to a burnout. Also here with the Knight of Cups in your subconscious thoughts, yeah, I feel like you either want somebody here to communicate with you in a loving way, you want to hear from somebody, you have this energy here where you might have romantic feelings for somebody and you want that person to show, you know, their romantic feelings, or it could also be that you have romantic feelings for somebody and you're kind of hesitant should you express them, okay? Or when will you express them? Or you're kind of keeping those emotions to yourself. Now, also here with the Wheel of Fortune, I do sense that somebody here sees you as their destiny. This person feels like you and them are destined for each other. They feel like you and them are destined to be together. So I feel like this person is kind of like in the energy where they feel like, okay, well, this is going to happen eventually, okay? With the Knight of Swords here, this is basically saying communicate, persevere, don't give up on what you want just because you haven't figured out how to get it or how to get there persevere, okay? Communicate, rush in, move things forward. This is telling you, make things move forward, okay? If they're not moving, it's time for you to communicate. There's some kind of rush of communication that this is advising you, okay, to do. Also here with the full, a brand new beginning. If you do that, you're going to jump into a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning is going to come into your life. And this is asking you to take a leap of faith into a brand new direction. We're going to be going into the extended week to see who this person is. I feel like, like I said, there's a slow moving process. It's very, um, I feel like there's potential in this process, even though it feels like it's slow moving, it's still destined to happen. Okay, we did see that this person feels like you and them are destined to be together. So in this, in the uh, extended reading, I'm going to jump into this person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how this entire situation is all going to develop for you, what is going to be the final result, and we will end the message with any uh, energies and also any information from Spirit. If you want to check out the extended, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with psychic source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. 
make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.